everybody, so it's Jace Juice and we're doing another unboxing video. As you can see, this is my bedroom. We're, we're, gonna, we're, we're gonna record some stuff in my bedroom because why not? Why not record stuff in my room? Because I'm not scared to show you how disgusting my room is. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so Fox Airsoft sent me another $200 mystery box, but they kind of, um, this time they said, they since I already have a couple guns, they said they, they were gonna kind of send me accessories or something like that. So I'm kind of excited. I don't know what's going on. So this is a $200 mystery box. I know it's small and it doesn't seem like it would be a $200 mystery box, but it is. So we're gonna use my little tactical knife to open this box. Just gonna, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I love this little knife, it's so cute. I didn't know it was a real knife when I bought it. I thought it was just a play knife and I was like, this would be perfect for yourself. Just gonna. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, what I always wanted. Paper. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Let me take it in. Taking it in. <sighs> mm. Okay, so first what I can see is we have a Skirmish Series Suppressor in 1999. So I'm pretty sure that you can screw this onto your rifle? I'm I'm gonna try all the accessories I already decided. I was gonna try them on my Avalon. I'll show a before and after of how it sounds when it shoots too. Like, I'm excited. I've never had a suppressor and I've seen people with their suppressors and they sound super cool. And we have a Strike Industries Link Curved Foregrip. This actually looks super cool. It runs at $39.99. Ooh, this is so nice. Look at that baby. Oh, honey, that's so nice feeling. Oh, okay, $39.99 for the grip and for the suppressor, $19.99. Okay, okay, okay. If you guys could see what was in this box. So next is a red dot scope um, sight. Okay, so it's a red dot scope sight. Um, there's obviously no battery in there. Does it come with batteries? Best. Oh yeah, it comes with batteries, so I'll put some batteries in it and see how that goes. Um, oh, it doesn't have any magnification, but that's okay. Um, I do have one reflex and two red dots, and this one looks really tactical. Sorry, Nyla's throwing a tantrum. Um, let me go yell at her. Here's my beanie weenie. She's causing problems. Are you being annoying? You're being so annoying. Go play, go play. Okay, so the red dot sight does come with um, some batteries. It looks really tactical. This will look awesome on my Avalon. I'm super excited about this. It, it does not have any magnification and it does run at... Okay, so I did find out that the price of the red dot is $59.99. So that's the price of the red dot. And I'm excited to use it. It looks super tactical. So we got a new grip, a new red dot, and we also got a suppressor. Super fun. Um, we got here, it looks like my favorite time is quiet time. Oh my gosh, and it's pistols with suppressors on that. That's so nice. And it says um, it's $7.99 for the patch. And here is the big shebang, like the big one. Okay, right here, we got a pistol. I'm so excited. It does look like a 1911. Yeah, it's a 1911. It's a CO2 1911. I'm pretty excited that it is CO2 because that it can, since it's winter, it can work so much better. I'm so, I haven't been able to use my pistol. Just toss that over there. I haven't been able to use my pistol because it's been winter. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She looks amazing. Look how amazing she is. Like, look, this is amazing. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Like thoroughly impressed. I think I have like one or two uh, C 
CO2 met, uh, CO2 cartridges, so I'll definitely, I gave you some BBs, I'll definitely be, this must be so that you can put your CO2 in, I'll definitely be trying this out this weekend, for sure, and I'm just in love, I literally am in love, she's so smooth, she's so nice, what does she retail at? $109.99. So, boop, de, math, uh, that's uh, over $200. Yeah. Nyla, what are you doing? No, it's kind of problems. I'm like sweating. I'm so like excited about this, this pistol right now. This is so beautiful. So, I now own a Green Gas 1911, a CO2 1911, and a CO2 Glock. And I'm a, I love the way these look. This is amazing. I am super excited. I actually just set up my chrono so we can go outside and chrono this pistol and we also can put the accessories on my Avalon and see how it all looks. So uh, let me do that and then yeah. Okay guys, so I put all the attachments on my um, Avalon and here's the red dot sight. Looks super cool, super tactical. And then here is the grip. And I really do like it. I was holding and I was like, wow, this is super firm. It feels super, like it feels so amazing and like really close to the gun. So the red dot, the grip, and then the suppressor. I did have a, pro a little bit of a little bit trouble putting the suppressor on only because I didn't realize that you have to have a classic army or an apex uh, flash hider on. So I just grabbed the flash hider off of my uh, classic army KM10 and put it on my Avalon. No problem. It just screws on and off. And there, I did, I did shoot it to see if there was an audible difference, and there definitely is. I'll shoot it outside so you can hear. But um, it's not like much of an audible difference, but it does get rid of that snappy sound. So it does make it sound a bit more suppressed, like what the job is supposed to do. I do have a couple uh, CO2 canisters, so I put one of them in the pistol. The pistol does hold around 20 rounds, so we'll go out, we'll shoot it a little bit, and then we'll also uh, use the chrono and see what the FPS is right out of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that. It's super chilly outside, so I'm gonna do it really quick though. Okay, and we're outside. Okay, so we're in my backyard and it's freaking cold because there's snow on the ground. But as you guys can see, here is my uh, chrono that I just bought, so excuse me because I don't know how to use it perfectly, but here it is. So we're gonna take my uh, 1911, pretty cool. Let's test it out, let's shoot it a bit. So I can't really see because all the snow. So let me try to aim. Let's try to aim at this tree. Ooh. Oh, shoots pretty straight, I'll say. Like, it feels nice. I definitely like that it, um, the slide goes back. Definitely cool. So let me go inside, grab some more BBs because I didn't know I was going to go through all those so quick. I thought I was just going to shoot a couple, but it felt so good that I kept shooting. So let me put some more BBs in there and then we'll chrono it. Yeah. Okay, so I got more BBs into the 1911. I did test fire it. So we did shoot around 20 rounds and we're going to go ahead and shoot a couple rounds into here. So let's give it a go. 322, 318, 311, 311, 306. So it's going down as I shoot and as the CO2 is uh, being used. Whoops. So it definitely shoots a bit more than I thought it was going to. That's pretty interesting. 303. Oh, didn't read. 300. So that's, it shoots around 300 FPS right out of the box. Um, I don't know if you guys can see what it says, but 300 FPS dual is 1.048, and we don't need to worry about the rest. I do have 0.5s in, uh, 0.25s in there, so I did set it for that, so pretty cool. Okay, so like I, like I brought up earlier, I did have to grab my uh, Classic Army KM10's flash hider off of that gun and put it on my Avalon so that the suppressor would work, but it worked perfectly fine, screwed on fine. So all you do is screw it on, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of test 
to see what it sounds like before and after I put the suppressor on. I'm gonna shoot it three times without the suppressor and then three times with the suppressor. So here we go. Okay, I shot more than three times. It's just I missed my gun. I haven't been able to play with this. We're gonna go ahead and screw this on. You guys heard how it sounded? Okay, so as you can tell just slightly that there is an audible dif difference in the snappiness of how the gun sounds. It's not like a huge difference, but it is enough to like kind of like if you were hiding in a building or something that it wouldn't make as much noise and they wouldn't really be able to tell where you are. But I really like it. I also think it looks freaking sick. My gun looks amazing with this red dot sight and then the grip and then the suppressor. I literally feel so tactical. So yeah. Well, that's it. That's the $200 unboxing. Super cool. Definitely got more than $200 worth of stuff. Got a new site. Um, I got a new red dot site, which I think was $59.99. The grip, which was $39.99. The suppressor, $19.99. I got this cool patch, $7.99. And then the 1911, which I hope you guys don't quote me, but I think it is $109.99. So definitely worth worth it. I'm super excited to play with all this stuff and you guys may possibly see in the future me using the stuff on the field. But as always guys, leave a big thumbs up. Oh, I can't do the little snappy noise with lipstick on, but leave a big thumbs up. But with that, subscribe and then make a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Be safe. Don't die. Toodles. Making sure it was recording because that would have been embarrassing.